Hello people. I'm going to show you some cheats and what they do on Conquered's Bad Fur Day. It's actually not hard at all and it's pretty free to do this. Um, what you're going to need is an ambulator version, which you go to Cool Realms and you download the Project 64 emulator. You go to Emulators and then you go to Project 64, download it, you open it up, you go to Realms which are cartridges, it's another word for cartridges go to Nintendo 64 then you go to Conquerors Bad Fur Day, download the game, put it in your documents you, you open up your Project 64, go to your documents, click on the game then you go to options, go to controls and I normally use WASD, the casual thing use that for walking, use J and G and V to aim and shoot. Now let's see. I can use a cheat menu. Infinite. The bombs don't work. I can go to health. Make sure to carefully click on it. Because if you just click the health tab. You'll basically put invincibility for all the characters. And it'll get annoying. Shooting at them and not being able to kill them. Only thing that could kill your character is falling off a cliff or getting hit by a grenade or a rocket launcher. Infinite lives. Then there's infinite time. And multiplayer to this. There's play as conquered. And my favorite L to levitate. The weapons on pickup actually doesn't work so don't worry about that. So I'm going to enter a game, and I'm going to show you the lives one first. Okay guys, turn hot! I have no idea why it's going real slow right now, but... As you can see in the lives, I have 150 or something. 105, my bad. As you can see, I'm alive because I had the invincibility cheat. Okay, so I'm going to show you the time one. You can pretty much put it on whatever one you want because the time will never run out. And That's something that used to disappoint me when I used to play this game. I pretty much would want to kill more than 10 minutes, but it never let me... As you can see, the timer never goes down. Now the game is running smooth again. I don't know what that error was. But like I said, this can only be done on an emulator unless you have a game shark.
This is what it looks like when you fly over the walls. So pretty much if I wanted to, I could do this, watch. Yeah, the logic of that is, since, since this is the squirrel's canister, when you pick it up, it automatically, it automatically has a file that activates, or files, and pretty much sets off as a teddy's voice. run speed cheat let's see I don't think this will actually work oh shit yeah it does work Jump that high. you one more thing and I gotta go because I'm pretty sure this is gonna take me a really long time to uh, edit and stuff we're gonna be combat squirrel I got a good one. This would be another example. Ah, butt nuts. The PC 
a shit windmill that doesn't do anything. Okay, let's go to... I can't die in crap land. This is a little secret that you probably didn't know what would happen. And when you walk through this hole. Oh man, what the fuck happened? Did I enter another universe? Nope. This is just a bug that happens in the game. Telling that. Okay, that's creepy. Hey, I'm here. Hurry up. Pick me up, shithead. I can't skip this neither. Excellent. Jetpacks and bullets. Here we come. Like I said before, that's just a glitch showing that you went through that thing. So what it does is it enters a script saying that you passed that level that you were supposed to pass. And who knows who patched that door back up, but... Yeah, peace. I'm pretty sure I got like 15 minutes or something on this video.